So hello, it's me, Denny Daniel, of the Museum of Interesting Things, and I'm here with... Lise. And uh, she came all the way from, can I say, the state? Mm -hmm. Excellent. She came all the way from Wisconsin, which is really, really cool, because I think you're the first person to show up from Wisconsin. Oh, exciting. So Wisconsin, you guys gotta, you gotta come over. You, you, you're, you're missing out. I mean, you know, Lisa, yeah. you bring a whole caravan of people. Absolutely. Time, clearly. And now she's going to. She went through the entire Museum of Interesting Things, which means she was here for about three weeks. And now she's going to open up her first new acquisition. I do this like a Forty Second Street show game which I'm born and raised in New York, and I remember the 42nd Street shell game. They would come, they, you would go to 42nd Street, and they'd have three shells, and there was a quarter under one of the shells, and they'd mix it up like that, and if you can guess which shell has the quarter under it, you would win something. The only difference here is, I don't have three shells. There isn't a quarter under any of the boxes, and you win nothing. Hmm, it's not very similar to a shell game. Not at all. In a way, it's kind of similar, because you win nothing. Uh, but, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but it is similar in one way, I do mix up the boxes. So this is me mixing up the boxes. Lisa, are you confused? Yes. Good, because otherwise I'd have to do this all day long. Okay, so pick a box, any box. Which do you want to open? Ah, share your eyes on that one. There is your scalpel. Now, mind you, whatever you do, don't cut yourself, don't cut me, or don't cut the cat. <laughs> but if you do cut you, me, or the cat, I do have these 200-year-old medical devices I could cure you with. <laughs> I'm not sure if you'd want to be cured with a 200-year-old medical device. I always hear the Mission Impossible theme behind it. <laughs> I'm going to get sued for thought crime now. I'm her fan of white. <laughs> All right. Still, okay. Usually by now I can kind of guess. Where'd my phone go? Oh, there. One of those Russian dolls. It is. A many layered protective device. All right, right there. <laughs> Funny, if this was Mission Impossible, we'd blow up by now. <laughs> It is fragile. It's very fragile. I know what you got here. This is the holy grail. Yeah, you don't want to bend that so it breaks. Oh, these, will break. these are glass. These are the... <gasps> you opened the holy grail of glass slides. Look, it's Pinocchio. I know. <gasps> That's so exciting. I'm so impressed. That's like my favorite. That's really, really rare. So the irony is that you're a storyteller. You work in that field, right? Yeah. You do Can props you? and stuff. I'm going to show it to the world. <gasps> Careful. Open on the oh end. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Very open on the end. We're going to pull out the glass slides so that it not break the box. So these are the original glass slides from Pinocchio. And in that box, there should be the text that you would read to the audience. So this is what in your field you would be using. Oh, 
So this is how you would storytell. Remember we were talking about the magic lantern. So the the box that belonged to this set. So we opened up the box yesterday uh, of the original Mickey Mouse one. So you would put this inside that projector. Now this magic lantern used electricity, but the earlier ones were like the one I showed you, the Ernst Planck one, which is these. And these should fit in here perfectly. So I plan on debuting magic lantern shows using these slides. And that's an original Ernst Planck with the oil lamp, like I mentioned. So. This is going to be the star of that show, and you're the one who opened it. And I'm so happy you opened it because I know you do like this theater and so stuff. And beautiful. this is just so 80% of people in this museum open up items that are ironic or uncanny to their personalities. And you fit that projection, that, uh, that, uh, that statistic to a T. It's unbelievable that you opened this. Now all your coworkers are going to be so impressed. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, I forgot that the Pinocchio wasn't opened yet. Oh, I love that box. That is so pretty. What a cool box. This really is going to be the most important one in the collection. This and my Snow White. But Snow White I can find. This one was impossible to find, so I'm really proud of this one. That's This will be neat. the one that's going to go behind glass at the main museum for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just a nice beautiful. one. <laughs> Thank you very yeah. much. That was exciting. A hundred years from now, that'll still be the star. <laughs> Bye, guys.